Hey, sir. Sir. Yeah, that would be, I could see that. So I will touch base with you again on Wednesday. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm, J I'm JP Freeman from Coplock Dodog. Your, uh, your statement on the bill uh, about uh, private conversations between public officials like in an enclosed area, are you opposed to that? Or are you just, generally speaking, you just don't want video recording at all? Oh, no. I it, it was hard to pinpoint what, what, what side of the line you were on. No, I, I, I mean, there are certainly situations where video and audio recording are appropriate if it's in a public place or and, um, if the people are aware of it but so what part what, exactly what part of the bill are you against the 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 criminality of a public official saying no I don't want you to or no it's the part that I mean there are no limits yeah at all so that means you could as I said you could go into the governor's office and put a tape recorder there and say I'm going to record all of your conversations well don't you think that should be available to the public? Now, the bad things happen when two private conversations happen. I mean, we learned that from Watergate. I mean, look at the history. Uh, if those things are hidden, how does the public know they can trust a public official if a public official saying, I don't want you to tape that conversation? There are all kinds of conversations that go, in, go on in private with public officials, whether it's the governor or whether it's the school teacher or the worker in the city I mean <clears throat> coming from a cop locker I'm not a free stater um, coming from a cop locker um, and going specifically after you know police brutality brute tactics and stuff like that yeah. looking from the outside in because I'm not into politics hardly this bill is just very important to my work um, the only thing that I would see a problem with that is if there was something addressed in the bill that said a person actually has to be present because you can actually plant a bug and it would be lawful under the bill. Right. What do you think about that? Is, about, the, is that the stuff you're trying to avoid? Well, that's part of it. Yeah. I mean, that, I think that would, be the, that would be the most egregious situation where someone just plants a, a recording device. And as you say, that, the bill would allow that. Yeah. But even, um, you know, I mean, I'm a local, if, if I'm a local welfare officer and I'm having a conversation with, with a client, the bill would allow that. No, it actually wouldn't because the, the statutes, because I, I used to be, um, uh, my whole life through New York, my parents were involved in all that stuff. And I know um, through the mental health field here, um, the statutes protecting the confidentiality of people that do get EBT and do get... Um, resources. There's already laws in place for that. The bill won't kill those those uh, protections, those state or federal protections, especially under HIPAA, and because there's a lot of medical stuff that gets mentioned with all the stuff that goes on with DHHS. So those those are protected. So I can't just tape the public official while they're talking to somebody because their rights are specifically being um, the private person uh, or the client. Um, and a lot of a lot of parts they're talking about children too when it comes to DHHS. So you, the children have protections of being minors as well. Um, so I don't think the bill's going to end up uh, doing that at all. But I don't see a lot of people going into DHHS for video cameras and taping like um, like let's say Wendy Misek. She's the uh, the manager of the Keen office. Um, I'm not going to be following her around on a daily basis because they're not doing something that affects me or, or the public that much. The thing is... Right, you may not be, but under the bill you could. Well, if she's in her active duty, but I'm not, they're not going to let me in the room to, ta to tape them. But the bill, the bill says you have that right. No, you, the, there's laws protecting the clients. That's oh, what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. yes, but yeah. I mean, but if... if if it's not that situation under the bill, you could just walk into their office and start recording. No, I, don't, I don't know if you'd be allowed to. I mean, there's certain other protections too, like, pri like private property. Um, they could get a no trespass order. There's stuff locally and civilly they can do to actually protect 
you know, they, they still have a lot of protections, and the bill's not going to kill those protections. Well, if it's, I mean, you're talking about city. There's also a harassment clause, too. You have a, oh, right. you know, you know the, it's a gray area. A cop can be like, okay, this is harassment, you need to stop following it, <coughs> and that will be a lawful order, so they're right. covered by two. Right. But two if laws. You, but you, if you're talking about, say, City Hall, you have City Hall employees, you can't put a no trespassing sign in City Hall. That's true. Um, so under this bill, someone could just walk in and start recording whatever is any dis any conversations going on in the city manager's office, the tax collector's office. Well, don't you don't you think the public should know what the heck's going on in those offices? I think there, I think there's <laughs> if if like especially Keene where the tax is insane. Um, especially property tax, don't you think, you know, some guy that's been pocketing out all his money on a yearly basis, don't you think he wants to know what the heck's going on with his money? You can, uh, you can already get the records. They're I do understand, I, I understand your point, because I'm objective on both sides, and, and this is coming from a cop locker, which is probably surprising you, but on, on the other hand, the Eighth Amendment, the eighth, the eighth Article of the New Hampshire State Constitution says all public officials that are oathed should be open at all times and accountable at all times. Okay. There's really no um, gray area where that stops. If you make that oath, you're basically giving up a certain amount of liberties and be like, okay, I can't have a pr uh, private conversation with another public official ever. And when you take that oath, you're going in there with that knowledge. Um, and if, if you want to do it upright with integrity, um, you understand that oath, and you understand that okay, a camera could be poking through through that air vent, and nothing's private, which is a good thing. You, you don't agree with that? No. <laughs> well, Sorry. it's nice being you, man. Enjoy the enjoy the cold weather. Yeah. It, it could be Cabo. What's that? It could be Cabo. Hello. Yeah. Have a go, Mix.